Hey everybody! I know it's really early, probably most of you are at work, uh, or on your way to work, because it's early in the morning, it's like 9 o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna make this simple and sweet, and um, those of you who are at work or whatever um, can catch it a little bit later. Because I have to do this, because I work at noon until 8 p.m., so I have to do this like pretty much now. Um, don't mind me, I've had like this killer headache for the last two days, day and a half. Um, no idea what's going on. Um, no idea if it's, it's probably all just stress related, um, and allergy related or whatever. I still have to vacuum my room. Trying to get priorities in order, um, but that goes into what I'm gonna talk about in a sec. Um, so basically, mom and gramp got pneumonia, uh, about two weeks ago now, I think, um, and then they ended up going to Mercy Hospital, and then were transferred over to Father Baker, uh, for rehab. So right now, they are planning, uh, to be discharged on the 31st, Halloween. So, in order for them to be discharged, they were both said that, according to them, they need 24-hour surveillance. Um, and so my older brother, my aunt, and I are scrambling around to try to get people in here to give them 24-hour surveillance. So we've been checking different things and, and trying to get people in here. I live here, so I'll be doing, like, trying to do, like, the night shift. So I'll be, you know, on call at night if need be. Um, I'm a little nervous about that, to be honest. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and then we're gonna try to, we're gonna get Kathy back again for the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and then we're gonna get somebody else in here for Tuesday, Thursday, and to get them up in the morning, because it's very stressful for me to get up in the morning and then try to get them all ready and things like that. Um, if this works out the way I hope it's gonna work out, it'll free up time for me to focus on myself. And my health will be a lot better because I'm not super stressed out because my energy and everything else is like in five different directions. Um, working on my job, trying to make sure that I get enough training there to become a key holder, which gives me a bump in pay. Um, and then uh, that way I'll be having to do different hours, uh, depending, I'll have to work on the weekends um, to help them out. Um, which is good, um, but it's also kind of like whatever. Um, so health wise, <clears throat> Gramp needs a lot of help, I guess. Um, he's of sound mind, but at the same time, he he needs help dressing. He needs help uh, with the catheter. The, the main problem with him <clears throat> is the catheter. <clears throat> if he didn't really have... Hey, Heather. If he didn't really have um, the catheter, I think he'd be a lot better. Also, what we've been noticing is by using the cane... Not the cane. The walker, he's hunched over a lot now. He's completely, like, almost, like over so that causes his balance to be completely off and so apparently while he was at rehab he went to the bathroom on his own and um they thought he was okay and he leaned forward and bumped his head on the wall so that's why they're saying that they need 24-hour surveillance because mom can't do it mom's balance is messed up anyways from the surgery she had like 15 years ago um for her vertebrae <clears throat> so it's hard for her to do that and it's too much stress on her um to try to make sure he's okay all the time so that's why we're trying to get other people in here Ooh, I'm getting all upset. I'm starting to shake. Ah, emotions. Ooh. <clears throat> it hits home with me because, you know, I always want them to be okay, to be, you know, at their best and stuff. And it's just, it's kind of getting hard because it's getting to the point where um, the reality's hitting. Um, so we're, we're pushing the gambit here. We're, we're pushing it so that they could stay here so that we don't have to sell everything and have to place them because that would not be, you know, for them, for their health, it would probably be better, but nobody wants to be placed in a place and then just sit there and not be in your home with your own items and, you know, whatever you want. So, um, I mean, for 91 and 95, they're, they're pretty lucky <clears throat> to still be in the same house and be as, uh, self-efficient as they are. Um, so, so that's, that's a blessing too. Um, so, Going forward, we're trying to get people in here um, to do that because 
I mean, I have I have a really really tight knit connection to them, and and all I want is for them to be happy and stuff. And I know this is frustrating, and I know this is kind of scary, um, both for them and for me and for my siblings and stuff. So a lot of what's going on, I have to be like, okay, I have to let these people do this. I have to let go of my control issues about the situation and how I would like them to be like safe and stuff um, and just be like, it's okay. Because I have to keep remembering when I wasn't here for those last three years when I moved out, basically they did stuff on their own. They were okay. Um, and now, I mean, this, this is meant, it's, it's cheaper than having them stay in assisted living because the way that they were saying if they had to stay there past 31st, cause the insurance only covers until the 31st, it would be basically 480 bucks per person per day. So with both of them in there, that's 800 or some a day. And then that would be billed, which is ridiculous. Um, and where does all that money go? You know, into the care, but at the same time, some of these places, you get the drift. In New York, at least. Um, you can, I mean, if you're familiar with West New York, Buffalo area, Orchard Park, absolute care, and that whole thing that just happened with that, yeah. So that's why we did not put them in Aurora Care, because, yeah, that's another... Um, <laughs> but then the whole idea about <clears throat> if, like, there was no money at all, and they had to go, I mean, there's... It's two sides. Um, so it's a, it's a lot of stuff to think about and do. Um, uh, so if we can get people in here and then it'll reduce the stress on me. Um, it'll keep them okay. But then at the same time, we're going to get somebody in here to help them with groceries. Because I'm trying to do my groceries. I'm trying to do something else. And, you know, it was kind of like a, a cooperative thing where, you know, I'd help them out and then I'd get groceries, free rent type stuff, um, for that. But right now with that going forward, hey, Chuck, hey, um, that way going forward, at least they can still stay in the house. Um, eventually I'm pretty sure Gramp's going to have to be put in first, uh, into a home. Um, hey Dave, but mom doesn't want to separate them because we know that if they get separated, he will go downhill like nobody's business. Um, and, uh, so she's like, okay, we're gonna bring them both here. Their idea is to die in the house, which I get, but at the same time, you can't just be like, okay, I'm gonna die right now, because that's not how it works. <laughs> I wish it did, because that would make everything a lot easier, but, um, so now we gotta kind of work around the house a little bit more. I gotta go get a new filter for the heater because I think that's agitating mom's breathing and my breathing. Um, and I gotta, I changed the table a little bit here to make it so it's a little more, um, user friendly, so to speak, with the walker and the canes now that they're, or not the cane, I keep saying cane, the, both walkers. Um, that's another problem. Mom's, uh, roller walker is a little, um, the brake's gone and we've been waiting for a month and a half to get that fixed and apparently parts are there and communication's gonna be crazy. And we're, um, if you're a spiritualist or you know anything about it, we're going into Mercury Retrograde. Like, this week. So, basically, communication issues between people are gonna be hard. Um, anything about trying to get anything done, like, um, moving contracts, anything like that, it's gonna be, um, issues. Um, so, I have to learn to try to, like, step back anytime something like that happens and not be so viscerally triggered. So, um, just expect it. And, like, I'm getting all upset right now. <laughs> Even just talking about this, which means I'm so invested in this, which I need to step back. Um, no kitty. My cat wants to, wants to say hi. <laughs> um, so, here's my cat. She's fat. Um, oh, she cat. Oh, she's a heavy cat. Um, anyway, so this is what's going on, and, um, ow. Mom was kind of scared with what was going on, so she was kind of acting out. But now she understands that we're trying to get her back here, and that's what she needs. Going forward with the winter, I have no idea how things are going to turn out. I mean, we're going to have to have, they're going to have to have PT and OT back over again. How? Because they've been sitting in the rehab for a while in the wheelchairs and stuff, so they're going to have to work on their muscles and things again. <laughs> Dang, 22 pounds, Dave, your cat. Yep, okay. 
I read an article on that too, um, spiritually about the fact that when cats get heavy, it's because they're taking our stress out of us and they're retaining it. So if you get another cat, they can, um, the other, the main cat that's heavy will lose its weight because between the two cats, it, um, equals itself out and they transmute the negative energy and the uh, stress that the people are having, which I was like, hmm, interesting thought. I don't, I don't really know anything about that personally, but, um, I know the cat upstairs that I have shadow, um, is thinner, um, but I have a lot of stress, but this one down here might just be fat because, I don't know, dogs 1.7 pounds, she gets. Yeah, Cody's actually, it's, it's around it because Cody's actually about 21, uh, pounds. Um, and I, let's see here if I can, there's Cody, he's a pretty puppy, he's all laying on the ground, right puppy, Cody, he's tired, he's stressed out, he misses mom and gramp, um, the animals know, they definitely know, um, but when mom and gramp get back here, it'll be a little bit easier, the animals are there, and then the stress won't be as, um, crazy, now granted with her, um, I can't have my work clothes on because I have black pants that I have to wear to work. Um, and her orange fur is everywhere. Right? And she likes to rub up against you. Oh, hi, Eric. Um, oh, he just messaged me out. I'm doing a live. Get on, Eric, so I can talk to you on here. Um, but anyways, um... That, this one too, I had to put her on a diet stuff from PetSmart. I had to go get the PetSmart diet food because she just would eat. When we got her, she was extremely thin. Extremely thin. Like, they had her on like one cup, you know, those little dishes, and that was it. You know, and then she came here and mom's like, well, we need to feed her. You know, and then mom feels good when she's feeding the cats because she can't exactly, Gramp won't eat a lot of food, which is funny. So she's like, I'll go feed the cat and the dog. So that the cat and the dog get fat is funny. Anyway, um, so that's what's going on. Um, I have to go pick them up probably Thursday. Um, yeah. Uh, sh this one, this cat right here, Chloe or Cleo or her original name was Peanut. Um, adopted her from PetSmart and stuff. Uh, she was, she is three. Shadow upstairs, who I also adopted a year later, um, after I got her, uh, Shadow is six. Um, and they both had kittens at, like, one year or something, so. But she does not like Shadow at all. She will not. She goes after Shadow, so, which is kind of sad, because if they had worked together, it'd be a lot easier. But anyway, I digress. Um, I gotta go, uh, talk to my brother Eric, because he texted me, and I don't know what's going on. And, uh... Maybe that's why I'm getting nervous, because anytime he texts me, I get slightly nervous because of... I have no idea what's going on with him. Um, but anyway, so... Yeah, that's basically what's going on. Hopefully I'll be able to be a key holder soon. I'm still learning about, um, all the paint stuff. Um... Oh, that's cool, Dave. Savannah, that's a nice... That's a nice name, I like that. So, going forward, um, this is where we are. Hopefully, nobody from the PT or the OT is going to be sick and bringing in stuff. I think that's also what happened here. I think the one PT girl that, or not PT, the OT girl that came in originally for Gramp uh, had laryngitis and she was carrying something else unknowingly. And then the rest of us ended up getting it because I have a compromised immune system anyways from having the deathly allergic to sulfa issues and all my stress, which I'm highly, um, sensitive to stress. So anytime stress goes, my stomach gets all weird. Um, hey Adam, congratulations on your move, buddy. Yeah. Totally need to see more of those singing bowl stuff. Whoop, whoop. Um, I'm excited for you, bud. Cool. Cool. Your house is beautiful. One day, one day when I get that young living and all that other stuff going, it's going to be great. Um, and I'm gonna need to look at that TRS or what you were talking about before, too. Um, I'd love to detox, because I definitely think I need to detox. Um, so I'll hit you up for that eventually or something when all this craziness, um, calms down. Because I also need CBD oil, too. Ah! Um, but anyway, for the time being, 
Mom and Gramp. Um... <laughs> yeah, I need to slap my younger brother. Yeah, he's he's Eric's Eric. <laughs> you take him, you leave him. You know, eh. Sometimes you just gotta be like, yeah, okay, keep your drama over there. That's what I did. I'm just like, you have drama, go over there. <laughs> I can't deal with you right now. Dan and I were like, we're dealing with Mama Gramp. <laughs> you go deal with yourself later. Um, but anyways, so um, yes, this is what's going on. Um. Hopefully everything will work out. It is the first week of Mercury Retrogrades. So there might be a little, you know, clinches or here or there. I doubt it because it's so soon and my grandparents are just like, we need to get out of here. And, you know, I just, it's all going to work out the way it's going to work out regardless. That's what I've been learning. The more you kind of control stuff, the more it's not going to work out in your favor because you're trying to manipulate the energy and the, the way it's going to come out and it never comes out good if you're trying to manipulate the situation. You just have to let it be. And that's one of my life lessons. That's that's one of the things I'm trying to learn, just to let it transpire the way it's supposed to. Um, because at first I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be more stress on me, and da 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 And I'm like, yesterday I sat there and I'm thinking, let's look at it from a different angle. Let's back up, put ourselves in our higher center, and be like, okay, let's see what else. Why is this happening? There's got to be another reason. So it's not all that it's all bad and all this stuff. It's just that, um, <laughs> she's so fat. Um, it's just that it's, it's pushing me to not have to be so reliant on my grandparents the way I've always been. And I don't need, it's not in my highest, um, respect or whatever. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, to have to be there for them because they have to learn stuff on their own and me interfering and trying to be there to help them me thinking it's good it's not actually good for them so it's kind of like when you think it's good it's not necessarily good because you have to look at all the other different places and the only reason I'm able to do this is because I've been doing my spiritual path for so long I've been able to look at the other aspects of situations that happen, especially the one that happened two years ago when my grandparents um, and my aunt ended up having all this drama about me being the POA and ab abusing it and all that. That triggered a whole internal um, change and battle and the way to, to look at things differently and be like, hey, I'm overstepping my boundaries here. You know, I'm involving myself too much in this. Um, I need to start focusing on myself and not have to, like, I've been putting my life off uh, for helping them and things like that, thinking that that's what I needed to do. But it's because I'm, that's my destiny. My destiny is to help people, to serve people. And sometimes when you're trying to serve people that don't want to serve themselves and they're lost in the, their own issues and drama. Hey, Eric. Yeah, okay, good. Um... Oh, Dave, I didn't know you are moving. Wow. Okay, well, congratulations on that. Um, I hope it's a great move for you. Um, good luck. A lot of people moving right now. Yeah, get that stuff um, going good now, right before Mercury Retrograde. And then once it's Mercury Retrograde, you don't want to be doing anything crazy like that. Um, so, good luck. See you later, Dave. Um, okay, Eric, I'm going to get off in a minute, and um, I will... Oh, you're going back to EA? Really? Huh. Yeah, dude, Dave, text me what went on with Katie, too, because I've heard interesting stories, and I know you talked to Gordy, so, um, <laughs> eventually, or whatever. Um, yeah, no, EA, EA's, EA's kind of cool. We have a lot more traffic, though, because Oakwood is completely dug up, and that whole fiasco just started. So, just so you know, South Street now has got a ton, ton of traffic, and so does Main Street, because it's all being diverted off of... Uh, Oakwood because they're redoing all of that so that's a little crazy um but anyways you'll figure it out um so yeah I'm gonna get going um Eric I'll talk to you in a minute and um yeah so that's the update grandpa and mom are supposed to be coming home on the 31st because they can't afford to stay in there any longer um even though it's um oh crap Dave well good luck for you good luck I'll be thinking about you It'll all work out eventually. Um, and then, yeah, we're trying to get the house all, all good, so. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, so this this is what's going on, and um, I'm gonna get off in a couple minutes um, because this is going on and I'm babbling. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. Mama and Grandpa coming home on the 31st. Um, we'll figure out how much uh, or how good. Well, see that it works out that way. Then Dave, bigger, cheaper place is good. Um, and then we'll go from there, because we can't predict what's going to happen during the winter. We don't even know if it's going to be a hard winter or an other winter, and, you know, you can't predict. It's just... 550? Is that complete? Like, everything included, or is it just for the rent? Because that sounds really cool. Because for a while there, I thought we might have to liquidate all Mom's estate, and then I might be having to look for uh, a place to live. Um, cause that's what was going on with me, but now with them coming home, we don't have to do that quite yet. Um, but Dan's all handling that. Okay. Well, at least that's better. That's, you know, better than some, but anyways. Okay. So good luck for you, Dave. Um, everybody else, I will talk to you later. Um, cause I gotta get off and I gotta get ready for work. And this, uh, medicine is working for my headache and it's just a lot of different things and it will slow down, and then I'll be able to get back up to where I need to be. Because this is all dragging my health down, and I need to put up boundaries. Ooh. Ouch. That's like when I was in Elma. Except for when I was in Elma, I had 800 a month, but everything was included. And it was a garage apartment, so. <coughs> oh. Um, anyway. Gotta go drink my tea. A ginger tea. I've heard is very good for, um declogging the crap um and I guess getting rid of pneumonia more than antibiotics so and that's the last thing I need I, I you know I'm trying to get well myself because if they're gonna be here and they're gonna be you know their immune systems are kind of compromised anyways because they're old I have to stay away from them as much as I can so that I can get my own health back up so it's it's kind of like a Yes, do this, do that, you know, and the, and then my older brother, I feel bad for him because he's constantly working and he's got his own shit he has to deal with, so. Uh, <laughs> I know I don't have any honey and it's just different. I had some at one point, but I have to go get some more. But finances and it, everything's just like, ah, you know. But it's Mercury Retrograde. It is what it is. All right, I'm going to get going. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Love, light, and blessings. I will see you. On the flip side. Yes, three kids, Dave. Exactly. All right. Enjoy your move, Dave. Good luck. Um, Eric, I'll talk to you in a couple seconds. And anybody else on here, I will um, update you tomorrow when I get a free moment. Because um, Tuesday's my day off. Uh, but I might be interviewing uh, somebody with my older brother. So I will talk to you guys all later. All right. Love, light, and blessings. Namaste. See you guys.